Good morning! We are in my car and this insanely loud noise behind us is my defrost because it's April in northern Michigan so naturally it's going to be 20 degrees in the morning and there's going to be frost on my car. But we're going on a little sunrise hike this morning. Hopefully I can get to the trailhead before the sun rises. That's unlikely because it's early morning and I'm moving slow. But let's get there. All right, we're out on the trail. I missed the sunrise. I didn't totally miss it. I saw it while I was driving. But one of the reasons that we're out hiking today is because I am testing out a pair of hiking pants from Cool. And if you haven't heard of the brand Cool before, you can find them at basically any outdoor retailer store, REI, Moose Jaw, etc. Their slogan is born in the mountains, which is not where I live, but their outerwear is applicable for anyone, anywhere. I am testing out the Free Flex Dash Pants today, and I've only tried them on before, but I am absolutely loving them. They are made of a high performance fabric that is water resistant, lightweight, but is still very stretchy. With all of that, it's got really great comfort. It's moisture wicking because of that lightweight fabric and it's UPF protected up to 50. One of my absolute favorite parts about these pants is their secure storage. Four zipper pockets. Every single pocket zips on these pants and that's just incredible to me because I have yet to find really a lot of pants that the back pockets zip and the front pockets zip. It's usually like one or the other. So I did bring my ice bikes with me because I'm on a little icy snow patch right here. But I'm not going to put them on because I'm thinking it's going to be short-lived. I could be taken for a fool, but the trail has been pretty dry up until here. And then I see it's dry in like just a few feet. So I've never actually hiked on this trail before at the spot that I'm at. I've hiked this trail system further down, which I'll reach to in a little bit. But I wanted to park at a different trailhead and try a different part of the trail just to see what it looked like. And I like it. It's really wide here, which is really nice for like hiking in a group. I hope you guys can hear all these birds because they're going crazy. And you'd think with this blue skies, sun, and these birds that it's like 50, 60 degrees outside. No, 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 far from. It's, um, it's a 25, 28 when I left the house this morning. And probably about the same since the sun like literally just rose. All right, we're at 22. So I think we can do a nice little loop up and down or even maybe a loop up here to get out to the water and then back and down. It's gonna be probably like three or four miles. We'll see. I thought this trail would be a little bit closer to Grand Traverse Bay, just by looking at it on the map, but this would be really nice. I, I'm already scouting out where I'm gonna trail run once it's gonna get warmer out, if I finally get back into trail running. This morning, because it was so cold, I put on a base layer tight underneath these pants, and they still fit me great. That's what I always get nervous about trying new pants, because my size is so up in the air and women's sizing in general can be all over the place. One brand's small is another brand's large. I would say that cool sizing is very true to size, very accurate. I'm about a medium. Some sizes I can be a large. There's the occasional size that I'm a small. But I went with a medium and it's perfect. It's got a drawstring waist, which I also really appreciate because as things get looser, what I'm most worried about is pants falling down, so the waist is really what you need. I love that as I'm hiking, I'm not feeling any tightness around my thighs. It's very go with the flow, not restricting my hiking. I hate that certain hiking pants don't give way to people with larger thighs and hips. These fit me beautifully in that aspect. I really enjoy hiking in leggings, but every once in a while I want a more structured pant, especially for longer hikes. I'm looking at my trips this upcoming spring into summer, and I have a lot of uses that I can wear these pants for, and I'm really glad that I think they're gonna work 
perfectly. Well, I am very happy that I brought my ice bikes with me because I'm on this like kind of like, I almost said cliff side. It's not a cliff side, I'm in Michigan. But it is like a nice like steep little downhill grade and the trail is very icy and snowy. And I had like one slight little like slip and I was like, mm, ice bikes are going on. The trail's getting a little bit like drier now and I'm not as close to the like edge, but there's no reason to risk it. <laughs> side <laughs> and someone took a bike through here like there are fight fat tire tracks that terrifies me it's honestly making me quite nervous they are staying like up which i think the trails have actually down a little bit but i'm staying up through the snowpack just like this biker did <laughs> okay guys this side trail oh my god I feel like I'm at like the highest peak on Old Mission Peninsula. I, I can so, oh my god, this is so beautiful. I didn't even realize this kind of like elevation was here. I can see the trail down that way. Like the rest of the trail. Wow. Holy crap, this is so pretty. Uh, yeah, sometimes taking the side trail is the move. Well, this has turned into one of my favorite hikes that I've ever done up here. We've gone about 1.7 miles and this side trail will loop me back to the main trail, which is right at the trailhead basically at that point. So I guess I'll get in about three and a half miles today. It's unsure as to like how long this actual trail is because it's a side trail. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really a side trail. It is like there are many footprints and tire marks so it's just not on the map for Old Mission State Park but it is on all trails. So there is just something that I love so much about hearing water crash up against the shore. Two miles in and these pants, I don't even feel like I'm wearing pants. They are awesome. They're not falling down. They're not riding up. Easy movement. God, these, these pants very well might be my new favorite pair of outdoor hiking pants. I am really loving this pair of pants from Cool. I can't speak on all of their products. I've tried this pair of pants and they work great for someone with my body type of pear shape, athletic build, wider hips. But the other part that I like a lot too is that they fit nicely with a base layer on underneath. Cause I've had pairs of pants, but they just get like so tight and restrictive as soon as I put a, a base layer on underneath. All right, this little side trail is getting that elevation gauge going here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Around like a nice little ridge again. Still can see the bay, but we're a little bit further away now. I can't believe I almost forgot this. As I was writing about pockets earlier, there is a drop down phone pocket on each side. Just a perfect little spot to put your phone and have easy access. And overall thoughts on the Free Flex Dash Pants by Cool. 10 out of 10. First hike, loving them. Excited to bring them with me on all my trips that are coming up because I know that they're going to come in handy in keeping me safe and protected against the elements and comfortable while I'm doing these 
crazy hikes. So I definitely highly recommend you guys check them out. I'll leave the link in my description. I got the color eucalyptus, which I thought was just like a really cool like blue, green, gray. All my favorite colors combined into one. And we're finished. Just over three miles. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like more videos like this, make sure to give it a like. Leave a comment below. Other stuff that you want to know that I like. Hiking gear wise, camping gear wise. I'm happy to share. Make sure you check out Cool down in the link in my description as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.